हेलो हाय मैम गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून बट यू आर नॉट विजिबल ओके यू नीड टू क्लिक योर कैमरा वंस या या यू आर विजिबल नाउ यू स्टार्ट वंस अगेन यस गुड आफ्टरनून मैम वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून विशाल हाउ आर यू डूइंग आई एम डूइंग गुड मैम व्हाट्स अबाउट यू I'm also doing great. Yes, just uh, I was a little busy completing my couple of work and doing household chores in the morning as usual. So now I'm free. Okay, ma'am. You know all things about me. So for my viewers, you can introduce yourself only. <laughs> okay, okay. So you want to upload this video on your channel? Yes. So yes. as you know, my name is Manju Mishra, and I hail from Lucknow. Have you heard about Lucknow? Yes, ma'am. I went there multiple times. Oh, that's lovely. Then you must be knowing many things about Lucknow. Yes. Yes, I know many okay. things. I am connecting to you from Lucknow, and uh, I have been a teacher since 1990. I'm a teacher of English, and uh, after my retirement, you can say I started my YouTube channel to make myself busy and to share my experience and knowledge, whatever I have. my channel's name is grammar with manju ma'am where i upload only and only english content and i have a very small family of four members me my husband my two children if you talk about my hobbies so yes i have a couple of ho hobbies like uh, i love to listen to music i love gardening and yes of course you can understand that i love teaching too so that's all about me Okay, ma'am. Yes. I know on five questions. Yes, sir. What, ma'am? You also introduce yourself. I am saying. Okay. My name is Vishal Duhan. I belong to Sonipat, Haryana. Currently, I stay in I work in railway sector as a technician. I am here from last eight years. And I am married. I have two children. Oh, so, I am investing my time here. I have two option: either I can watch real or I can learn something productive. So, I choose second option. Nice that you are utilizing your time to learn this language. Yes, it's always a pleasure to learn any language. And English has become a global language, you can say. So, it's always important for everybody to know a little bit so that we can manage. Uh, a couple of things if we go to another country also yes ma'am you are in india it has become quite important i said yes ma'am i noted i down five questions so can i start asking questions <laughs> oh please go ahead go ahead Because your time is precious time so you hardly have time no, no, so it's all right it's all right you can continue okay ma'am why is it important to learn english yes as i told you before you ask this question i told you that english has become a global language yes this is accepted all over the world any country you go even you are in india you go to airport you go to railway station you go to any place most of the time you will face this problem that people try to talk in english so we need to be well versed Uh, about english so that we can also reply them we can understand them that's that's only the role of english yes okay ma'am second is what is the right age to learn english no age no age i would say there is no age for learning any language it's not only about english i i don't know whether i shared with you or not earlier i learned urdu there is no need of urdu for me to learn because i don't have to uh, read quran or something and i can't even read but yes basically in the beginning i learned urdu also because i had interest to learn certain language so there is no fixed age for learning any language if you start in the beginning itself in your childhood itself it becomes very easy if i start learning english at this age probably i'll take too much of time yes because brain has its capacity 
So at this age, it becomes difficult. But yes, of course, many people are learning this language even at the age of 80. Even at the age of 80, I have I have that person. I have not uploaded that video on my channel because the person stopped me to upload that. I wanted to upload that video just for the sake of motivating other people that there is no age bar for learning anything. Okay. And third, ma'am, why can't even educated people speak English? Yeah, very good question. Uh, people uh, having education and speaking any language. That's two different things. If you practically use this language, speak every day with somebody, then only we are able to converse in English because it's not our native language. This is second language for us. Yes. So that's the reason we need to remain in touch with this language. As much as we will speak, we will become more fluent. So that is very important if person is in practice, then certainly the person will be able to speak. If no practice, only words are there in the mind, then at times when you will speak or somebody will try to speak, that time the words will not come to their mind. So that is very important that we remain in touch with that language. We try to speak that language as much as we can. Okay, ma'am. And how to overcome the problem of English speaking? how to work on the problem of english speaking yes this was this is your question <clears throat> yes so first and foremost uh, the basic problem which we face being indians that we look for a partner that somebody is there then probably we can speak in english if nobody is there how can we this is the mindset yes Very well. uh, but uh, well uh, I, I would say that we should start thinking in English first. Any sentence comes in the mind, we should try to translate into English uh, and we should check whether we are able to translate or not. So start thinking in English, then improvise those sentences in your daily routine. Speak those sentences. Now people will think how to speak, where to speak. Yes, no partner. But yes, alone sitting in the room, you can speak, uh, somebody can record it. And after that, you listen to that. And compared to anybody's uh, conversation, if you follow someone, whether you are speaking the same way or some way you are lacking, and that's how you can improve those things. And that's how I think people can become fluent. Yes, ma'am. And last but not least, what is your advice to parents and their children? For, for what thing? For learning English or uh, for uh, raising their children? Your question is a little incomplete. Can you, in what area you want me to suggest? Like English speaking, ma'am. English speaking, okay, yes. Good question. So if you talk about parents and child, you said, yes. So the first role starts with parents. Parents, if they want their children to be fluent in English, first and foremost, they should seek a good school where child gets proper environment of English speaking. And as a child gets the opportunity to speak in English from the very beginning, I don't think then parents uh, will have anything to do. Parents can simply leave them in that campus and once for eight hours the child remains in that school. All the time teachers are talking to the child in English. Uh, even his or her friends are talking to them in English. Probably the child will learn English very well. Yes, of course, being parents, they need to check them whether child is speaking correct English or not. At times they can correct them. They can advise them. How can they grow? Okay, ma'am. And yes. in, how many things we can include in our introduction? Yeah, introduction, it, it's, it should be short and sweet. Yes, like the first thing you must uh, take your name, that who okay. you are, and then where from the person belongs, the, and then uh, what is uh, his or her qualification, 
how much educated the person is what is his hobby or her hobby or what are his or her hobbies and then what are you looking forward to what do you want to become and for that what you are doing then you can include your family members and all other things which you want to but but basic things are these many at least you should mention these many things which i told you prior to it but four things yeah okay ma'am now you can ask <laughs> nice <Sit> question <laughs> nice 15 to 20 minutes <laughs> your questions are over good that you had written and you did not take much time to think over those questions and one after the other you put up all your questions probably i made you satisfied with my answers i don't know <laughs> yes ma'am i am satisfied totally satisfied okay as you said that you have a child what is your daughter doing right now she is 2 years old and last time we talked on her birthday yes 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 what is she doing right now i asked is she sleeping she, no right now i am not at home i am in my job place i okay. live apart from my family every weekend i go to my home okay oh, oh so you are connecting to me from your uh, office no no it's lunch time i am in oh. my railway quarters okay. it's lunch time okay okay fine so you are uh, working hard to improve your english i must say yes and uh, have you have you joined your uh, online class also today uh, i mean that class which you mentioned earlier uh, what was that class name you said joestock joestock yes. whenever you... whenever i was returning from my office that time i made two calls for 10 minutes each 10 minutes each yes so if you want you can upload this part or you can cut it i just want to suggest you one thing you are speaking well yes but you need to just work on your accent uh, your regional language accent is influencing you okay like whenever you are speaking so your sentence ends with certain uh, what to say so certain pressure or certain uh, like i yes? put some more effect on words yeah 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 so exactly so now you understand your uh, that problem so you can work on this whenever you uh, listen to your recordings start working on that it it happens automatically it happens the regional effect is always there yes a bengali speaks then a certain bengali accent is influenced yes in the same way for other speakers also so try to eradicate that or remove that all right so that is important because you are working hard and i want that you become a very fluent person and you will become because for past many years i can say that you have been working and you have come to a level of speaking and you will improve day by day yes so that's you, my sir. that's my suggestion to you yes ma'am okay. and uh, any more suggestion you have any another no no that's fine now now you are speaking and this language can be acquired just by speaking this is the only way as much as you will speak you will become more and more fluent and more and more confident at the same time yes so this is all about this language this is the beauty that we need to speak alone also speak think everything i had thought that i'll ask you showing this flower pot can you see this flower pot yes ma'am yes. is it visible yes yes it is visible so if i ask you that you please speak about this flower pot for maybe one or two minutes just check how much you can speak how many sentences you can frame where you are going to make mistake if you will make mistake i am here to correct you let's do this it's showing that you are a lover of gardening <laughs> that's lovely that's lovely yes i i am you are right i am okay so now you have seen this flower pot and the natural roses now can you speak about 
uh, a few more sentences, nice sentences said that I'm a, a lover of plants and I, I'm a lover of gardening. Yes. So now something more if you want to add. Flower gives pregnancy. So they provide positive energy. Lovely, lovely, lovely uh, structures you made and it it was awesome to know. Yes. Nice plants. Yeah. You get uh, fresh air. Yes, yes. And all the time when we look at those flowers, we get to have some positive energy all the time. So yes. even one stick of flower we keep fresh in our uh, house, no, in any corner of the house, that will keep you positive for the whole day. This is this happens with me. I don't know about others, but for me it always works. So where early in the morning I move to my garden, and yes. then I bring few flowers and I put in this flower pot. This is my daily routine. Yes, ma'am. This is the region of your energy <laughs> yes that can be that can be so nice conversation we had with shal and it's your lunch time so you again have to join your office so thank you so much uh, for uh, reaching out to me and we had a lovely conversation in future we will again meet this is not the end of this conversation yes yes ma'am sure uh, with that note, let us wrap up this session here. Okay, ma'am. Bye. Have a nice day, ma'am. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Vishal. Bye, ma'am.